Right, welcome back. And uh, to start with our uh, uh, discussion, let me uh, welcome our guest uh, over the phone, His Excellency Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Your Excellency, we're on air. Your Excellency? Yes. A happy. Yes, a great, yes a, a happy Greater Byron for you and uh, for all our uh, audience and all your beloved. Same to you and to my spirit. Thank you so much. And uh, of course, we're. Yes, today we are marking the uh, uh, 10th anniversary of the 30th of June uh, uh, revolution that shaped up the, 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 the path of Egypt and reflected on the Arab world. Let me take here how you read that day. I feel very satisfied as a diplomat because we are lacking what we call the uh, most important and effective weapon of diplomacy, which is the, the summit, the, the level of the presidential context. Now, in the last 10 years, I have seen our president going to the far east, Tokyo, to the far west in Paris, north to New York, south to all the African countries, hosting most of the, the leaders of the whole world in Sharm el Sheikh, leading the African Union, representing Africa in the Security Council. So it is very active diplomacy. It, it must be uh, uh, something which we are proud of in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Right, but before I go on to the Egyptian diplomacy uh, uh, after uh, the uh, 30th of June or after the President assumed uh, office, let me first start with the will of the nation to realize that path. The 30th of uh, June in which people have... Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, admitted or uh, uh, imposed their own will for choosing their future. And how do you view that day? I must confess to you that I have never joined those gatherings in the Tahrir Square. Up till the 30th of June, I was invited by a television channel to talk to them, and it was the, the channel was. Uh, uh, producing from uh, the Semiramis Hotel. So from the balcony, for the, the, the first time in my life, I have seen such a huge gathering of one million inhabitants in Tahrir Square at night, and it was very nice because all of them were, were, were uh, using the small lamps to show that they are there. So it was something I have never seen in my life. So it was a really quite clear it is the will of our people to change, because really we are going to nowhere as a, a diplomat, as Egyptian, as a, a, a man from Damietta, which where the business community is very free. We, we, we never uh, have seen something like that, where uh, everything was going through a certain uh, unknown uh, agenda. That was really something I, I, I didn't uh, like at all. So thanks to our people, the solidarity of our people, and the good thing that they were as if they were one vote against what was going on, and they gave our army the, the possibility to move, and then our army did it. And I, I am so happy about that. Really, I don't know, I cannot imagine even in any scenario where we were going if 30th of June was not there. If we speak about uh, uh, the 30th of, uh, of June and, and this immortal day in the history of Egypt and how it changed the, the path of Egypt, we have also to speak about how this proved uh, 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 the strong uh, or the strength of relations between the Egyptians and their strong institutions. Yes, as you will know, Egypt is a big country. It is well known everywhere. Uh, I, I, I always say that no big country can come to our area without passing through Egypt. But also we are lucky. 
that we have a very active presidency, that we, we are uh, now uh, in, in, in Cairo, uh, one of the most heavily re re recipient of embassies and missions, whether on the bilateral level or the regional or the international. You're, and many countries have their representatives in Cairo to cover uh, three, four, five another countries from Cairo. Yes. This is something I have to be proud of. Yes, definitely. The, the, the foreign uh, diplomacy in Cairo, really, it is yes, something. Yes, but your it excellency. Something, it, 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 something which not many people know that it gains money because they spend millions and millions uh, through the, the, the whole of the year. Your Excellency, I, I was here speaking about the strength of relations between Egyptians and the, str uh, the strong institutions in the country and how the 30th of June uh, revolution reflected this strength of relations. I must assure you that I was sure that we will never accept the situation we were living then. The, the year two, 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 uh, 2013. That was not acceptable at all. And whenever I talked to some responsible people, they were sure that the Egyptian people wouldn't accept this. I have my uh, friends in everywhere, even in the army, that all of them assure us that we will never accept this situation. So uh, the, the whole movement of the Egyptian people, with all its different parties and different institutions, was going in a, in a sort of coordination without declaring any coordination, but it was uh, the, the, the normal attitude of the, the, the Middle Egyptian. That, that was something was realized, and that was the, the main issue which saved us from that situation. So from your point of view, how did the, uh, um, how did the armed forces and the uh, uh, strong institutions in the country admit to the will of people and uh, uh, help them or boost their will? Uh, it is a sort of uh, uh, a sort of national consensus. The, there was the will of the whole people. I haven't seen anybody uh, unless they were with us, unless they were with this movement, and the institutions also were uh, positively responding to what we were talking about. And uh, I don't neglect the foreign relations also that we have this sort of chemistry and acceptance of our new president. And I, I can uh, ask you to remember the meeting a couple of days ago in Paris, how the president of France was talking in a very friendly way with our president. How, when he visited Berlin, it was his first visit abroad, and how the chancellor Angela Merkel was treating him, and it is well known that, uh, as the German said to me, it was the chemistry between the leaders. Look now, whenever we have an uh, international or a regional problem, that with a telephone call we can help. With a visit uh, to Sharm el Sheikh, we hosted the Sharm el Sheikh, most of the presidents of the whole world. Uh, we, we intervene in the uh, Ukrainian problem. Our foreign minister went to Moscow after he met the foreign minister of the United States in Cairo. And it was well known that we are mediating that. The Arab League also is becoming very active those days, although the Arab world is not in its very good health. So many things are showing us that the whole institution inside the country and outside the country, our missions abroad, the, the, the foreign missions, our foreign relations, all of this are coming back to its uh, strength, to its uh, useful attitude towards Egypt and its uh, economic uh, reform. Mm. We, we, we had a lot of help 
from the whole world in order to make us able to control our economy. And I think we are doing the, the, the right position and we are on the right track. Your Excellency here, um, how did the 30th of, uh, of June revolution reflect or, or adjusted the path of Egypt and that uh, consequently uh, reflected on uh, the Arab-Arab uh, relations? I must confess that the Arab situation is not in the best situation we want to see. No, you I'm have speaking... problems in Syria, in Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, uh, Yemen, the Sudan. Uh, Your Excellency, so, uh, I'm we are speaking so about. I'm happy that uh, there are very strong countries in the type of Egypt, Algeria, Saudi Arabia, and the Gulf states. All yes, of them uh... are co coordinating much more than before. I'm and speaking when about they are leading the I'm movement of the whole Arab world to the right position. I'm speaking we about hosted, Your Excellency, uh, the Your... American president, and before he came to see us in Jeddah with the six Gulf states plus uh, Egypt, Iraq, and uh, Jordan, uh, uh, we, we, we refused his initiative to ask us to establish an Arab NATO against Iran, and we said Iran is not the enemy. Now another uh, step was taken to make the relation with Iran much better with uh, Tur Turkey. It is coming to much better situation. So, Your Excellency, course, uh, excuse me. Your Excellency, I was speaking about the 30th of June revolution and how it uh, uh, has adjusted the path or the Egyptian path and how this reflected on the uh, Arab Arab relations. Yes, uh, I, I, I must say really that we, we have to uh, confess that the Egyptian diplomacy is very ancient, is very strong, and what all it needs is uh, uh, the, the right uh, uh, leadership that we were lacking in the last 20 years before the revolution of 2011. So yes. we have the leadership and it is using all uh, the, the uh, Egyptian uh, relation with every single country in the world to make our Arab relations also at its best. Although I am, I, I am repeating here that the Arab countries are not in, in, in the best situation we would like to see. But yes. there is a core uh, of uh, leaders of the Arab countries and presidents who are really are doing a very good job, whether between uh, the Arab uh, countries themselves bilaterally and regionally and also on the, on the international level. Yes. Arabs are moving much better than before. Yes. Your Excellency uh, uh, Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister, we thank you so much. Uh, uh, for being uh, uh, with us over the phone and uh, on the 30th of June anniversary President Sisi addressed the nation saying that the 30th of June 2013 is one of the most prominent immortal days it is the day when the great people of Egypt rose up rebelling against those who wanted to take their homeland rejecting injustice sectarianism and tyranny saying the identity of the homeland is the authentically Egyptian. We will not allow it to be kidnapped or exchanged. And that exactly what happened on the 30th of June revolution. I will leave you with the full speech of uh, the uh, president. And next Saturday will be another important Arab uh, file. Until next Saturday, it's goodbye. اسمحوا لي في البداية أن أتقدم إليكم بخالصتها بمناسبة الذكرى العاشرة في ثورة التي تزامن هذا العام عيد الأضحى المبارك أمام وعد الإسراء والأمتين العامية الإسلامية بالسلام شعباً مثلاً عظيماً the great people of Egypt. There are some days, uh, rightful days in the history that 
enlighten the past before the pathless and give them the good past. And on top of this, they glorify days, the day of the 13th of June in the 2013, when the Egyptian people, the great people of Egypt, revolted against the stories of what they can not the, the uh, nation and, and rejected in the, the darkness and the good doctrine and uh, announced uh, loud uh, throughout the republic that the identity of the nation is the Egyptian is a, a solid Egyptian that uh, do not accept the kidnapping or misleading. Hence, uh, the people of Egypt announced that uh, Egypt for all the Egypt invested in their its decisions and resolutions and given the highest interest. Uh, and uh, the certain vision to the end, the statement uh, of uh, regaining the position of Egypt uh, under the unity of the whole Egyptian without any discrimination or divisions. The great people of Egypt, the resentments that you've shown during the past 10 years, since the revolution of the 3rd of June, they will last uh, for before the, the schoolers and researchers and uh, many of questions arose about uh, the secrecy of uh, the different people between the different people and uh, in it's, uh, their national institutions and uh, the armed forces and that uh, um, that uh, move Egypt during the few years from a state that faced a dangerous division and the, the, the ghost of division to the into a stabilized country that paid by the heels from the armed forces and its police who they are uh, confronted uh, uh, to the wave of terrorism. The men paid uh, their souls for the sickness of uh, the, the nation to provide. The volume of uh, challenges faced by the Egyptian people that invested in their souls, uh, a strength that is unique, who lived uh, the meaning of uh, the threat of uh, the nation's loss and the fear of uh, the sons uh, and uh, as well as the potential. Therefore, that I certainly believe that this generation of the Egyptian people will be able to build and shoulder the responsibility of building the nation and establish the modern nation. And I believe that such a generation that move into by uh, its patience uh, from the chaos and tension to the peace and uh, stability that is capable uh, to enable or uh, to develop uh, the nation that witnesses and escalated progress throughout the, rep the Republic from uh, the infrastructure, trade and transportation that face a real revolution that paved the way for Egypt to be in the line of the developed countries to the electric power, gas and the green energy. The Reclaiming the vast of the lands and to the health and education, which is uh, on our priority, due through the eradication of the, the, some diseases that obtain the Egyptian and establish uh, modern uh, universities and schools uh, and the localization to the science uh, through the paving the unplanned roads uh, to save. Uh, the millions uh, of our people from uh, an unacceptable situation to establish a new developed uh, and evolved 
cities uh, throughout the Republic uh, to solve the problem of uh, the population and raising the quality of life for the Egyptian and reaching them to move through the and the revolution of the digital transformation. The great people of Egypt in the 10th anniversary of the great 13th June revolutions, I vow once again that the loyalty and work for Egypt alone, and vow that the interest of the nation as a national identity will be the science of the road that paved the path and the way. I say to you that the volume of the vast challenges produced by the people and the, the national institution, God willing, will, the victory will prevail to move strongly and trustfully on the path of development and construction, on the path of improving the lives of the people and the provision of the proper circumstances to, to generate the work and innovation by its own segmentation from private sector, civil societies, young men and women to unite all the components of the nation in a complete system to lead our beloved nation through achieving the dream that the old Egyptian prolonged to the dream of progress and the renaissance of the nation, the dream of the new republic developed and modernized in, in all arenas. And Happy many routines for the Egyptian people in peace and security. And lastly, as always, uh, long live Egypt, long live Egypt, long live Egypt, and peace be upon you all.